Hello there. It is so good to see you all. I am Esther Jones of Study Abroad Student Services. It's so exciting to do these series of videos and to really educate you on the information that you need, objective information. When you tune in to any of our videos, know that the information being provided to you is in fact objective information. It is not tainted one way or another based on whatever institution we seek to represent. That is not in fact the case. As a matter of fact, um, persons oftentimes call us and make contact with us because they're saying, I just want the straight truth. I just want the straight answer. And we're happy, all too happy to provide that information to them. So I usually go to my list of questions and one of the questions that we have um, today that we're gonna talk about is what are generally what are college and university requirements great colleges and universities want students and enjoy having students who have completed their high school requirements finishing high school guys is important you have to finish your previous chapter before you can really correctly conquer the next chapter. Can you agree on that? Well, that is the case. However, what we do know is at times real life happens and when life happens, we want to be able to create a space for folks who have not completed college or, uni or, or finished actually, sorry, high school and help students who are interested in completing that chapter. And they can do that if need be on the college campus, believe it or not. But let's talk about the traditional model. The traditional model is where persons would have completed high school. Because we are in the Caribbean and we are focusing on a predominantly Caribbean audience, at times persons ask, well, what does that mean, finish high school? Finishing your C-SEC. Caribbean Secondary Examination Council. That's what CSEC stands for. And so completing your CSEC means that you are now competent with, of course, your minimum of five CSEC level passes being grades one, grades two, and grade three. Having completed a minimum of five, that now makes you eligible to apply to university. Different universities or colleges would have different requirements, but having five CSEC O levels is your minimum requirement. For some, they also require CAPE. CAPE is the equivalent of A levels, and that's unit one and unit two of CAPE. Upon completion of CAPE, you may be then eligible for other universities or colleges. Does that make one better than the other? Absolutely not. And what we're about is helping you to find your fit and figuring out what will work for you, that student, parent, family, figuring out what will work for you. That's what it's all about. So for one, maybe for one person, CSEC is the perfect, perfect closure. And then they will transition to college or university. For someone else, it's about doing CAPE because that's really going to position them based on where they think is the right fit. But let's help you with that by way of a consultation because you may be surprised. You would be surprised at the result at the end of it. Uh, so please feel free to contact us. Uh, also, one of the things I didn't talk about is where, as, as I mentioned before, life happens. And when life happens, life just happens. And sometimes persons are not able to complete uh, their high school education uh, in the traditional way that others would have been able to. But guess what? There is a soft place to land even for persons who have not finished high school. There's a place to land. And we can discuss that way forward as well. And you can do that on a college campus. You can do that on a university campus, believe it or not. 
but you'll have to find out by way of a consultation where we can give you more information and really help you to understand what the way forward can look like. And it's always about the way forward. So let's help you with those next steps. 1-868-345-4846 or 1-868-276-9903. Or you can simply go online at www.onesas.com. That's one S-A-S-S dot com. See you soon. Bye.